Well, let's start with Mississippi. We don't have a winner this morning, but boy, do we have a fascinating race. The incumbent Senator Thad Cochran facing a Tea Party challenge from Chris McDaniel, a state senator there. Uh, we can't call this one yet. 99% of the vote in. McDaniel slightly ahead, but... The law is you need 50% to win a primary, so it looks like. Again, we have to count the final votes, but it looks like we're headed to a runoff here. Listen to Chris McDaniel last night saying that he may not have won yet, but he's confident if he doesn't win in the final vote count, he will win in the runoff. This is a historic moment in this state's history. And because of your hard work, because of your dedication, we sit here tonight leading a 42-year incumbent. But our fight is not over. Remember, it is about the people. Nia, this would be, and again, the conditional would be the trophy the Tea Party has wanted. They've been targeting a number of Senate incumbents. They thought Cochran was the most vulnerable. What happens if there is a runoff? Again, we have to count these final votes. In a runoff, does the energy of the Tea Party just blow out uh, the incumbent, the establishment incumbent? You know, I mean, I think the key word that you heard uh, McDan McDaniel use there was 42-year incumbent, right? That's how uh, he's been able to be so successful so far. Obviously had a few missteps with the whole nursing home fiasco. Uh, but they are running, I mean, I think in some ways it's less important that he is a Tea Party guy, more important uh, that Cochran has been in the Senate for 42 two years hasn't had a challenger since 1996 and when you see him out there on the stump it shows yeah he, he is rusty and that used to be a virtue yeah. in politics i yeah. can bring home the bacon if they, they take the senate he would be the chairman of the appropriations committee which is the cash committee uh, but ron both of these guys are about out of money uh, right. they're running on fumes so yeah. is there a chance that the establishment can flood the zone with money and help Cochran, or is this now just going to be, we've got a there's, chance There's energy. a chance, but the establishment's got to think, what, do we really want to fight a guy who could be our standard bearer? I think right. this is bad news for Cochran. Anytime an incumbent is in a low turnout runoff, as you know, they usually lose, and it's bad news for the Republican Party because now they have to spend another three weeks fighting each other instead of right. looking at the general. Unlikely but not impossible the Democrat could win this race, so the Republicans have to think about that right. too. They want a Republican seat in right. the end. They'd prefer right. Cochran the establishment, but they want to keep that seat in Republican hands, so that's part of that calculation.